bipolar deals with um, the highs and the lows. Um, symptoms of bipolar disorder um, vary to person to person based upon the type of bipolar disorder they may have. Um, most people with bipolar disorder have manic or hypomania symptoms, which is the high side of bipolar. Um, those symptoms are uh, euphoria, inflated sense of self-worth, increased self-esteem, poor judgment, rapid speech, racing thoughts, aggressive behaviors, agitation and irritation, increased physical activities, risky behaviors, spending sprees and other unwise financial choices, increased sex drive, easily distracted, careless use of drugs and alcohol, poor performance at work or school, delusions, and psychosis, which is a break from reality where they're seeing things that are not there, um, hearing things that are not there, like hallucinations. Um, that's the upside, the mania of bipolar disorder. Uh, there's a downside, which is the major depress depression side, and the symptoms of that are sadness, hopelessness, suicidal thoughts and behaviors, anxiety, guilt, sleep problems, low appetite or increased appetite, increased or decreased need for sleep, fatigue, feeling slowed down, loss of interest in once pleasurable activities, problems concentrating, irritability, frequent absences from work and school. Um, basically, that's how bipolar affects me in all of those ways. Bipolar basically affects pretty much every aspect of my life. Um, it affects my sleep schedule, it affects my appetite, it affects my energy level, it affects my sex drive, um, it affects my thought process. It affects um, basically almost everyday activities or um, things that you would do during the day, that's affected to me by my bipolar disorder. Um, my thought process um, is very affected by it where maybe the average person might react a certain way. Most relationships um, are filled with emotions and moods. Bipolar is a mood disorder. So uh, when you're in a relationship, a family relationship, work relationship, a friendship, an intimate relationship, that's a lot of that is based on emotions. Love, hate, anger, happiness, sadness, um, happiness. So that affects my emotions. So there's a lot of times I'm not for sure what emotion to feel in a certain sense because of bipolar disorder, where maybe the average person, you know, would just go with the flow. This is what they're feeling. This is what they're thinking. But with the brain, way my brain works, I don't have that sense. So that really affects uh, a lot of relationships in my life. How a lot of people get bipolar disorder, there's a couple of different factors with bipolar disorder. One of them is it is genetic and you can get it. It is hereditary. And for me, that's definitely how I um, got bipolar disorder. My grandmother had manic depressive bipolar disorder and uh, she struggled with it most of her life. Um, she took multiple medications um, to help her with the side effects of bipolar disorder. Um, she had multiple hospitalizations, um, spent some time down at Utah State Hospital, um, different psychiatric units and different behavioral health units to help her with the bipolar disorder. Uh, my great grandma also had bipolar disorder and she had a lot um, of issues also with the symptoms, spent many times in psychiatric units and also spent time down at the Utah State Hospital and during that time um, for bipolar disorder or schizophrenia patients. They were also doing lobotomies at that time. So my great-grandmother had a lobotomy also for her um, bipolar disorder.